everyone, this is Jackie Hayes. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Perth in Western Australia. And today, um, my card was for challenge was to do a jigsaw card. And this is what I've come up with. I struggled with thinking about this one, but my husband who helps me quite a lot with my um, cards and, and tells me whether I've done it right or, or whether it looks right. When I said to him, it's an old jigsaw die and it's called Puzzle Pieces and it is an old one. I've had it a few years now and this is the one I've got. I, he said, well, I said, oh, I always want to do new ones that's in the catalogue and that way then it gives me challenges and he said well why don't you mix old with new and this is just what I've done so this paper is um, from um, Peony Garden designer series paper with quite a few different ones and I've used the, um, the petal pink one there I hope you can see that and I've used this um, grey granite. What is that? I'm not sure whether that's grey granite or basic grey. But also now I've used the inside, which is prized peony. And these only came yesterday, so they're definitely brand new to me. I only took that one out. Um, oh, I've got the words from Love You To Pieces that goes with the stamp set and the ribbon is part of a sweep that goes with the peonies I've got grey granite and classic label punch and this one is uh, petal pink and it's A5 by uh, scored at 10 and a half. I've got the grey granite at um, 10, 10 by 14 and a half. The designer series paper, which is pretty on the back, but it's the wrong colour, so I'm using the petal pink. And that is 9 and a half by 14. The inside white is. Um, 10 by 14 and a half and then I've got some um, some Sizic adhesive sheets these aren't the, the adhesive sheets are back in the catalogue but these are some old ones I've had um, and I've done them at 3 by 3 and this one's 3 by 3 and so is the white I'm going to start off with doing this first and what I did I took the backing off where it says peel if I can just peel it off it will come off because it came off yesterday when I was doing my card that's it so there's me the backing I'm going to put this one on first and just line that up and then I'm going to take the backing off and I'm going to put this on it makes it that little bit sturdier um, so that when you're doing things you, you everything doesn't fall to bits right put that one on that one So there's, there's the first bit. I've got my big shot, which I'm going to bring in. And I've got the magnetic, I've got the ordinary platform. I've got glue stuck all over my fingers now. It's not good. I 
and I will get me me and this is the the jigsaw die that I want to use it's stuck so this is the the die place that on there put that top plate on and run it through We'll run it through just backwards again. Just make sure I've got it all. And looks like it because it's cut the edge off and then we don't need that edge bit. I'll take this piece off, the, the die. I might just leave it on and see if I can get it turned over that way. I've got glue stuck all over my fingers now with this adhesive sheet. Better. It just has mixed, pulled one off that saw, which I can put that back in. That's not a problem. I'll just move my big shot out of the way. that out of the way and I want to then slide this off of this plate so I, what I did I used the um, the casing for um, for my stamp set and then just turned it over like that and I'll move it up into position about right no, it's the wrong way round so I need to just turn it again because I, I put it the wrong way round I need it this way round so I can push it onto my card so that's going to be on there like that and then this piece will go over there once I put some glue on it but I don't want it all gluing I just want to take one piece out so that it is so there's my piece I've taken out and I'll just pop that onto onto my card out of the way and I'm going to put some Tombow glue in each one of these just so it sticks sticks on the uh, designer series paper I did like this um, die when I when I first got it I did a quite a few uh, cards where I just put one piece on on the front of the card and then inside I put a bag with all the pieces in so they had to make the they had to make the uh, jigsaw up themselves to see what they'd got and I sent them to England to my friends and they thought they were absolutely amazing oh now it's not not straight Got to move them over a little bit. No, it's not worked out. Yesterday it worked out perfect. Just got to see if I can push this over just a fraction so it's No, it's not going to move unfortunately I just have to lift them up one by one I think my 
might have to leave it. It's not working very well, this one. It's a case of do as I say, not as I do today. Because everything's gone wrong today. It shouldn't have done, but it has. Make sure that goes over there. Still not quite enough. Oh dear. Just talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this for you it's not um, it's not gone right but we will we will get there I just hope my video doesn't run out like it did yesterday, which wasn't very clever at all. But apparently, YouTube, um, my the internet was going down on YouTube, so my daughter-in-law says. So I'll take her word from it for it because she uses it a lot. So now it's stuck. Well, I'm truly stuck. Yes, it's dried quite quickly even though I didn't press it down it's dried but we will sort it this one went on perfect should have used a, a clear piece of piece of plastic I think and just checked underneath it Oops. I keep sticking to my fingers nearly done it's nearly done just let me get that one off and then it will be sorted so there you see I can make mistakes but it's handmade and and it's it's done just that one that's not quite lined there nobody would know so don't tell anybody, will you? There, done. I'm going to then mount this on my card, on my grey granite card. And if I hadn't have had that whisper white under these pieces I would not have been able to do it because it would have just torn 
and I would have had to scrap that all together. Now I just need to know which way I'm going to put that up. Yes, that way. Okay, so I might just do the ribbon at the top with this one and put the piece there. Yep, quite like that bit. So then the ribbon is going to go at the top, like I said, and I've got to put, put a piece of um, sticky tape, the double sided tape on here, just to just so that that sticks the ribbon down because I'm going to just put all um, dimensionals I have to get another dimensionals out didn't realize I'd used them all so this ribbon is part of the suite and it's grey granite And make sure I've got nearly, nearly the top. I told you today everything's going wrong, but that's what happens when you're doing cards, the handmade, so it doesn't make any difference. Somebody that gets it in, in the post will really appreciate it. Cut that off and then this bit is going to go on here but then dimensionals so I'll just excuse me a second enough on so that the, the card doesn't fall to pieces when um, when it's in the post because you don't want whoever's getting it to receive a card that's all to bits that didn't work well just want my tool over I've got all sticky over that from lifting my um, jigsaw up now I'm getting stuck all over my fingers is it do you ever have that feeling that when you got out of bed in the morning you should have just stayed there? Because today's been one of those days, I think. Right, so get that one out of the way, it's stuck on my finger. Put this on here, make sure it's level. okay and this piece I will put a dimensional on that piece as well because um, that's going to be stuck on the ribbon just like that and then I'm going to make a bow and the easiest way for me to make a bow is fold one piece in half and make an M shape Oops. 
and pass that through the back of your thumb I don't want a great big ribbon uh, bow but you can see that's turned out really well and it's so simple to do right. Yosa Snips got one in and you don't waste a lot of ribbon doing it that way right. I then put a little bit of strong um, tear and tape on there so that it stuck it sticks on and then make sure that one goes over there perfect now the next piece is just to do the um, the saying and I've got um, and it's let's get together soon so I've stamped that on a piece of Whisper White in grey granite just move that so it doesn't get ink on my card I don't want that after all that performance of lifting it all up put that in the middle that's spot on and I'm using the classic label punch because that is just a thin piece I don't want a thick one because it's a dainty card. And now I just need some small mini glue dots for this one because the uh, large ones are too large. Sorry, mini dimensionals, not glue dots. Mini dimensionals. And I will put that in this corner. Now I've just got to do with the middle and put some bit of bling on here and the bling I'm using is called Elegant Faceted Gems and these are part of the suite that comes with the uh, peony suite I like these actually and just use the end of this this piece um, I'm going to just put some on the ribbon there is, it really isn't many places that I can put these because you can't see them um, where can I put the third one I'm stuck to where to put the third one. I put it on the ribbon, you won't see that. Just looks like a glass, sheer piece of glass that, but it's raised up. I don't know whether you can see it or not there. Hopefully you did. So I might just pop that there. move them out of the way and then we'll get the um, peony stamp and the whisper white and we've got a little bit of glue on that and 
I just put this peony stamp, which is absolutely beautiful. I'll pop that in the corner. Just need to And I don't want it all on. Um, so I didn't stamp it all, but I just uh, just want enough so it looks part of the card. That's what I mean. We've not done very well. And I've turned that over because we won't waste card. And Perfect this time. So there's, that's, that's what happened last time. We've only got part of it. I should have used my Stamparatus. That's what my husband said yesterday when something didn't turn out right. Why didn't you use your Stamparatus? But I didn't need to for this one this time. But it shows when you make mistakes in card making, it doesn't matter. You can turn it over and redo it. And like we've seen today, I can make mistakes. I'll just stick this one in. If if anybody would like to um, join my team, um, at the moment we've got a special on for. Um, for joining it is $669 and you get $235 of products that of your own choosing from the catalogue but then uh, until the end of uh, uh, July sorry end of June which isn't far away now we have got a special that um, you can choose a st uh, stamp bundle of your choice so that's either a stamp set and a die or a stamp set and a punch and some of them are around about $90 for if you have the die so it's a good saving and it's a good, in good incentive to you for you to become a demonstrator if you spend over $169 on an order why not become a demonstrator that way then you will get 20% off your orders and you don't have to stay a demonstrator like I am you just have to um, stop buying and and that's then that's you out of being a demonstrator it's as simple as that I started off being a hobby demonstrator with just a few of my friends that wanted to buy things but um, I built up my business um, by just enjoying what I do. Today's been a bit off, but, <laughs> but that's fine. I still enjoy doing it. And it shows that you can do different things and it goes wrong. So what? You're enjoying doing what goes wrong. Um, if you would like a catalogue, they are $5 each from me. And there's lots of things in the catalogue. Um, for instance, if you wanted the peony set, that is. No, I did have the page. Told you. Things are going wrong. You look in the back, and that tells you the. Right, peony, 
Penny, penny, penny. Page 84. It's easier that way. And there's the peony set. And it's got some beautiful cards that you can make. It's not just a catalogue where you buy things. You can just look at all, all the things, the cards that you can make. The bundle for this... Um, is um, $100.75 so if you become a demonstrator you could have that bundle and um, it, it, it's just a beautiful set and then you can add to it if you want to but at the moment they're the two cards we've done and hopefully you like what I've done if you like it please share and um, or subscribe and leave a comment I don't mind whether it's a good or bad comment today you're quite entitled to leave a bad comment <laughs> but I will I will answer and say thank you if it, even if it's a bad one but there's your the cards which are would would make a happy birthday or let's get together soon which is really quite apt for this time um, we've been told that we can get together after um, the 18th of July so hopefully my card classes will start up again um, but it's going to be a case of wait and see if it goes back then we just have to do, do it a little bit longer for now thank you for joining me stay safe and stay well bye for now